Beware. Spoilers ahead. Before the credits rolled on Days Gone, we were left wanting on some information. Throughout the game, in return for help with Deacon's wife, Sarah, we were to help O'Brien. Oh, okay. Listen, O'Brien. A Nero researcher spy on his own colleagues in order to be informed on what his organisation was up to. Each researcher, flanked by Nero guards, worked independently, and the upper echelons of Nero management stifled communication between them so that the bigger picture of what this research was contributing to would stay secret. Diamond Lake was conquered, a speech was given, and happy times were here once again, and that was it. What gives? Until, after the credits, this happened. It was mind-blowing, exciting. When is Days Gone 2 out? But what does it mean? Before we get into that, make sure to subscribe if you're not already. And if you are and want to support what I do further, head over to Patreon for more details. Link just up there. This is the Days Gone secret ending explained. The virus had been out there for two years, spread by an intern wanting to blow the lid on a medical research company secretly making bioweapons. You told me that this was some sort of classified project or something. But what was the intention of this weapon? Was it really to change people into vacant, flesh-hungry freakers? It's hard to believe. This was probably a virus not yet ready. But the virus had a mind of its own, bounding over millions of years of evolution, splitting into different strains and affecting different humans in different ways. The virus was out of control. We don't know why the virus was made, but from the moment this happens, we are given cause to imagine. We met O'Brien within the opening scenes of the game. If we don't get her to a hospital, she's going to die. There are no more hospitals. <laughs> Hospitals, you got uh, doctors, you got triage, you got a mass unit. Oh, look, I'm just a grad student, okay? I, I got volunteered for this. I'm not even supposed to be out here, okay? He was a recent graduate, young, nervous, fresh faced. Two years later, from the moment Deacon tracks him down, that suit no longer allows us to see that face. You're alive. Yes, I am. We know him only by his voice. Why is his face covered and why is he wearing a suit? Surely the virus can't be infectious. Deacon would have been done for a while back if it was. Most other people too. O'Brien wanted to find out what his upper management was up to. Why were they not letting him in to what all this work was leading towards? He was a field researcher, but also kind of a prisoner. As the game progressed, O'Brien was very keen to impart to Deacon that this virus was evolving in all sorts of ways and all sorts of strains. Then O'Brien reveals the particular strain he is most worried about. I'm here to warn you. Warn me? Warn me about what? You remember? I told you the infected were evolving. Right, yeah, freak's a freak. What the hell do I care? The strain of the virus, its effects on the human nervous and lymphatic systems is accelerating at an exponential rate. They knew all along, of course, that it was happening. The men above me, that's why they were so cautious, so secretive. They're coming. I'm sorry. There's nothing you can do to stop them. There's nothing anyone can do. A scene that probably poses more questions than it actually answers. I'm going to try and explain some of what we've seen here, but most, I'm afraid, will be supposition and guesswork. Here is what we do know. Somewhere from this point... I've only got room for two of you, okay? Two. What? you got room for two of you? We're overweight, okay? I can only take two of you, two! O'Brien was infected by a strain of the virus, a strain that allowed him to keep his mental faculties 
but receive increased strength and agility, far beyond that of a normal human, maybe even far above that of a normal freaker. That's what we know, this is what we don't. We don't know when Nero became a malevolent force in the world, concerned with researching and perhaps cultivating the virus for their own ends. The National Emergency Response Organization is obviously a group modelled on FEMA, who enforce certain powers during a crisis and act independently for the good of the nation. As the virus took hold and the government devolved, maybe Nero were the only body to make decisions for the nation. Indeed, humanity. It seems that the management in charge of Nero may not now be thinking in the most benevolent light. What is their agenda with the virus? O'Brien's phrasing, they are coming for you and there is nothing anyone can do to stop them. What does this mean? Is he referring to the virus as a whole? Freakers are growing stronger and humanity's days are numbered? Or is he referring to Nero and the management of Nero? Why are they coming and what is their end game? O'Brien is infected, you can see that, but he still has control of his mental faculties. But there are a couple of moments when you'd be forgiven for thinking that he hadn't. Or at least he is fighting to keep something at bay. This moment, This is as if his body is changing and he's fighting to hold it together. This moment. I'm sorry. Is this an urge to attack that O'Brien had to check? He is conscious, he is agile, but what state will he be in soon? Maybe that is the reason and urgency for his warning to Deacon. He may not have the faculties to warn him soon, maybe he's on borrowed time. And are the whole of Nero infected with this virus? Is the guy next to him? Is the management? We don't know. There will be plenty of theories around the place that will be perfectly feasible to explain this whole scenario, but humour me while you listen <laughs> to mine. This secret ending is quite clearly setting up a story thread for Days Gone 2, one in which Nero will become the overarching antagonist. In this game, they were merely used as a device to understand more about the virus, and also as a way for Deacon to find his way back to Sarah. We know now that there is a malevolent upper management that has some sort of agenda, likely control, domination, power. I don't think that the virus being made at Sarah's lab was to be used as an offensive weapon. I think the virus that was stolen from the lab by David, the intern, was unfinished. I believe that this was less a virus, more a drug that was intended as a defensive weapon to give Nero soldiers to provide them increased strength and mental agility on a permanent or temporary basis. I don't know whether it's, it was designed for Nero soldiers or the military at large or, or whatever, but Nero got hold of it somehow, some way. Maybe Nero administered what they thought was the finished drug to all of their staff so that they were better able to combat the freaks and save humanity. Maybe they had good early results and um, they thought, wow, this is great stuff, let's, <laughs> let's give this to everyone. But then as O'Brien says, it evolves, it develops at an alarming rate and it got out of control and it's getting out of control. But this virus wasn't finished in the way that they hoped and now, just like the other strains of the virus, it's evolving and changing its host. So. The explanation of this ending is both simple and complicated. Simply, the virus is growing and changing and it's coming for humanity and there is nothing anyone can do to stop it. What's complicated is knowing the finer details on how this threat will manifest itself. Will it be more mindless freaks, just stronger? Or will it be a new, intelligent, stronger species of human looking to dominate in a world with new beginnings, just like we the sapiens did with all the other subspecies that stood in our way thousands of years ago? Is O'Brien, now intelligent, now agile, is he the new subspecies, able to intellectually think how to take over the world and uh, become the dominant species in a, in a new environment, in a new world? All theories, all conjecture. What are your theories? Put them, please, in the comments below. If you're not, make sure you are subscribed. And if you are, take a peek at my Patreon to see how you can power more videos like this. This has been the Days Gone Secret Ending Explained. Kind of. <laughs>